The purpose of our study was to examine how frequently older adults who have fallen and evaluated an emergency department had sedating medications and drugs or alcohol present in their system. We examined their blood that was taken right as they came into the emergency department for these substances. We randomly sampled 300 older adults who presented to one of these trauma centers after a fall. They were being evaluated for a serious injury from these falls. After having a fall, older adults may not always seek care. And if they do seek care, it could be a considerable time after the fall before they seek assistance. And when they present for care at either an emergency department, an urgent care center, or a primary care setting, they may only have what appears to be a minor injury. And in those cases, they're not generally tested for ethanol and other sedating drugs or medications. And if they are tested, testing is performed for clinical purposes and so is limited and may not pick up or detect some of these medications and drugs that could be present in their system at the time of their fall. Among the 300 older adults evaluated in this sample, almost a third, 31%, had some substance detected, meaning either alcohol, benzodiazepines, opioids, or cannabinoids, such as marijuana. The most frequently detected substance was opioids at 15%. The other substances, alcohol, cannabinoids, and benzodiazepines, were detected between four and 9% of the sample. There were differences detected among these 300 older adults, age 65 years old and older. Ethanol, cannabinoids, and opioids were present more often among 65 to 69 year olds, whereas benzodiazepines were present more often among 80 to 84 year olds. Ethanol and cannabinoids were present more often among males, whereas opioids were present more often among females. Benzodiazepines were found equally among females and males. The key takeaway from the study of these older adults, 65 years old and older, who had a fall and were evaluated for a serious injury had either ethanol or a sedating drug or medication present, which likely contributed to their fall. This high proportion of those patients who had the substance involved indicates a need for evaluating for the substance at the time of their fall 